guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite reds and dark wine lips. So I'm very excited to bring this one to you. A lot of you guys have been requesting this one. It was kind of like a 50-50 between pinks and purples or reds and wines on my Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram, go ahead and do so right now. I will have it right here. Um, so go ahead and follow me. I'm always putting up polls. I'm always putting up like cute templates and stuff like that. So definitely go ahead and make sure you check out my Instagram. So let's get right into the video. I'm going to be starting out with the ones that I love the absolute most. Sharing with you guys what that looks like on my lips as well as I'm going to be sharing other colors that I really like and putting in swatches of them so you guys can see them. Alright you guys, so for me, I don't wear these colors very, very, very often. These darker wine colors and reds. I'm more of a nude slash pinky person on the regular. I apologize for the lighting. The sun is going in and out. The clouds are moving around today. So if it's like different lighting, I apologize. I'll, tr I'll try to make it as like even as possible. So I really enjoy a lot of the reds from MAC. I used to be a huge MAC lipstick person, so I have quite a few different colors from MAC. Um, two of my favorites that I love in the red line from MAC is Russian Red, which looks like this which is my take of a true red. I will do some swatches on my hand for you. This one is Russian Red. I'm also gonna do swatches on my lips, no worries. And then this one is Lady Danger, which is more of like an orangey red. Um, when you put it next to a true red, it looks a lot more orange, but it's more of that like red-orange kind of line. I like that though, because it makes my skin look a lot more tan and golden. And um, I just I just feel really nice with it on so So this is how the Russian red looks like I love it It is a true red and this is perfect for anybody looking for that like glammed up look I think this is perfect for that. It is um, it's not too much. It's very classy. It's very sophisticated it's Not too shiny not too anything out of the ordinary. So I love this one as well danger looks like I love it it really makes any black eyeliner pop it really makes my eyes pop I really like how it makes my teeth look and I don't know for me this is just a perfect summer color I feel like it's bright it's out there it's in your face but it's not too much you know so I really like that So then the next red that I really love is a lip liquid lipstick and this is from Stila Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Beso and I love this color. So again, it may not be even, but I love how this color looks. I love the texture of it. I love a nice matte red. This is going to last all day. Of course, if you're eating like a burger, you're eating stuff, or you're drinking things, the center will disappear a little bit. For the most part though, I feel like this is one of the longer wearing liquid lipsticks. Yes. So my next favorite color is from Sephora and it is the Sephora Red. I've been obsessed with this color. This is my first red lip stain lipstick kind of thing that really made me want to try out more reds. I was never a red person before using this. If you guys are literally not red people at all, you don't want to do it, you're like, no, it looks crazy, it looks crazy. Try this one and see if your opinion changes. Because I was like that too. I was so close-minded about trying out red lipstick because I'm like, no. Like, no, it's going to look crazy on me. It's not right. There's no, I don't want to look cooly cooly. But I really, really enjoyed this one. And I think it really complemented my lips well. It's very similar to Beso. Um, that's why I actually did pick up Beso because it was so close to this one. But this is amazing. It is affordable and it is so freaking good. So let's try it on. So I really feel like this one embodies all of the other ones in one product. I really love the staying power. I really love the way that it is. I really love that it's matte. I like that 
it is it's so nice and classic and elegant um and it's affordable my favorite berry slash wine colors i really have been enjoying a lot of lip stains i'm a lip stain person i'm not really a lipstick person i'm loving this lime crime wicked one um this has been an original for me i was obsessed with this color for such a long time um when i first got it so let's go ahead and share what that looks like Color. I think it is such a cute one. It's a nice berry color. If I wanted to do something a little bit more sexy, I would do something like this. I think this is really nice. It's a little bit on the darker side, but it's still very sophisticated and classy. If you're using this with a lip liner, I think it would be great, especially chestnut. It would look amazing with this, so I really like this one. So the next color is another Sephora collection. This is number 27, and you guys know, I personally love Sephora collection lip products. So let's go ahead and try this out. I love how this one looks. It's really nice and dark. It gives you a really nice gothic kind of feel. Very fall vibes, I love that. Um, this with this kind of eye, like a wing liner and like a gold eye, or even just lots of lashes with like a matte brown eye, I think would look amazing. So then another favorite of mine is this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is called Vamp. I like the way it performs, I like the way it stays on. I love the applicator, so let's go ahead and try this one on. Alright guys, so this one is called Vamp and this is from Anastasia. I really like this one. Um, it's like a muted dark red color. Um, I really like that. I really love muted colors. I don't know why. I feel like it just it just adds a like a mysterious kind of look to the face and to the lips and I don't know, I really like it. The next one that I love is this one from Kat Von D. This is in the color Vampira. I really like this one. It's a really nice deep vampire red lip. So you want to go in with one layer and then go in with another layer. Don't put in too many at one time. And after you apply this, you don't want to tap your lips together because it will transfer and you'll have some like sparse areas. So just kind of let your lips set as it is. I love that this has like a little bit of like an iridescence to it. I think that's really pretty. Um, but for the most part, it's just such a nice vampy color. So the next one is one of my absolute favorites. I love this one. This is from Anastasia. This is in the color Sad Girl. All right, last but not least, we have the Sephora number 24 lip stain. This is a gorgeous, like plummy, like a muted dark purple. I love that. Compared to the other ones, this seems very like basic. I probably should have done one of these first. But I love the way that this looks because it's very subtle. It's nothing too crazy or in your face. It's just a really nice, calm, berry color. This is great for work. If you're if you're able to wear something a little bit darker on the lips for work, um, I think it's very like classy, very sophisticated, very like um, work appropriate. So I really like this. You pair this with a dark lip liner, you can definitely wear this for like a date night out. All right guys, so now that you guys have seen my top favorites, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some other colors that I do truly love that I think would work great on brown skin tones, especially skin tones that are of my range, which is an NC44 to 45. Like I mentioned, I don't use a lot of lipstick. I used to before, but ever since lip stains came out, I started using lip stains. So I do have a few for those that are not on the lip stain bandwagon and like lipsticks. So I have these two. This one is called A Blaze, and I love this one. This one is kind of similar to Lady Danger. A Blaze can be considered like a pink red. Um, this is what that looks like. I really like this color. I think it's very pretty, especially for summertime. The next color I have is called Riri Wu, 
which is a very similar it's a true matte color it's a very similar to ruby woo and that's what that looks like so the next color i have is from ColourPop. this one is called snow fleek this is what that one looks like not too shabby and then the next one that i have is from ofra cosmetics this is in the color venice and this is very similar to lady danger i don't know for me when i think of this color i think of like Sitting on the mile, probably at like tropics or something with like shorts and like a striped button down with some cute like denim shorts and glasses and you're just sipping on like a margarita or something. That's literally the image that I get when I see this color, which is very detailed, but that's just, it just happens like that. Since I know a lot of people are into Fenty and would like to see it, so I'll, I'll show you guys in this video as well. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Lip Paint, I believe it's called. And this color is in Uncensored. I do love the color. I don't really care for the staying power. I don't really like the applicator. So I'll go ahead and show you guys this one. This is what it looks like. And I feel like it's a gorgeous color. I really, really love it. It is just one of those like true, it's a true red color. Um, I just really wish it stayed on a lot longer. Then I would wear it more often. All right guys, so now on to the wine colors. I'm gonna start out with the lipsticks first and then move on to the lip stains. The first lipstick that I have is this one from MAC and this one is called Diva. This is a really nice, this is a really nice dark color. Um, so let's get that swatched. I'm gonna do a little bit of a smaller swatch so I can fit more on my hand. But that is what Diva looks like. So pretty. I love that with like a dark, like a night moth lip liner. I think would look perfect with it. So that is Diva. The next one that I love as well is called Sin. So pretty, oh my god. This one's kind of similar to what I have on now, um, but I love it, it's so nice. So then the next one is this one from Sephora Collection. This one is number 14, and this is the first one of our stains. And this one's kind of similar to the other one that I have on. It's a little bit lighter, not so dark, like the rest of them are gonna be, but Still, it makes an impact is what that one looks like it's a little bit lighter than this one I think this is really nice for those that that like a, a softer berry look I think that would be very pretty the next color is from Too Faced this is the melted matte long wear lipstick and this one is in the color drop dead red the really dark 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 red color I love that actually <laughs> I am definitely a fan Damned from Kat Von D. So let's go ahead and try this. Actually, this is a little bit more on the purple side, so it's a little bit darker. Um, it's a little bit more like purpley. Similar, very, very similar, but this has more hints of like purple and like a darker wine as opposed to the other one, which is a little bit more red. So this is what the Damned looks like. See, this is a little bit more on the purple side, whereas this one goes a little bit more on the red side. So that is Damned Kat Von D. The next one we have is also from Sephora Collection, number 43. This one is very, very dark. I love these dark colors. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but these dark colors are my life. All three of these are very similar. I think this one pulls a little bit more on that warm red side as well, similar to that one. So those two are very similar, and this one goes more purple. The next one that I love is from Wet n Wild, and this is called Goth Topic. This is a really nice one too. This one pulls a little bit more on that purple side as well. Um, I really like the applicator, and I really like how creamy this one is. This one is very, very pretty. And I think this one actually almost has I think this one has a little bit more of a hint of brown, like a brown red kind of. All right guys, we're down to the last four, thank God. Um, the next one that I have is the Kylie Liquid Lipstick in Leo. My niece actually got this for me. So excited. So this is in the color Leo, love that. 
The next color that I love is also from Anastasia. This one is called Heathers. And this is a really nice muted dark red color. So cute. This is what Heathers looks like. It's a really nice kind of muted red. Love that. Then Havana Nights from All For Cosmetics in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. That is so pretty. I love that color. Kind of similar to Heather's, but I like that one a little bit more. Is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick. And this color is in Voyager. And I'm actually going to swatch it on this side because I have a little bit more room on this side. So that is what the Voyager looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos in my Brown Girl series. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Please go ahead and subscribe. Follow me everywhere. I'll have all my links down below. I'll have my names here. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Bye.